Good afternoon. Wednesday again can only mean one thing. Slack is back, massive chopper. Just before we start, one of our valued TikTok followers is in Warrington Hospital. Not very well, Peter Kelly, if you're watching. Good luck, mate. I hope our uh, videos put a smile on your face. So, lamb week. British lamb, the best lamb in the world by a country mile. I won't have anybody on this planet tell me that, British, that there's lambs out there better than British lamb because there isn't. British lamb is the best. Right. This is going to do lamb this week. This is probably the last lamb we're going to do before lambing time. The next lambs you'll probably see will be baby lambs. And me being slacky, I'm not going all back. I'm going to give you the full experience of lambing while you're on live. So stay tuned in. If you see a little video at the top saying live, means we're lambing. Arms going in and we're going to pull some live lambs out, hopefully. So, British lamb. Been to our local supermarket. I'm not going to mention no names. British lamb. British lamb steak, apparently. Now this is actually, I've taken labels off so you can't see. It is actually, it says it is British lamb and it says the British red tractor as well. I'm a bit lightest with that. I'm not overly convinced that British red tractor is fantastic as good as what they say is so. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt. Now I've been to market and I've been to a lot of markets and I've seen lambs being bought for supermarkets and they do buy half decent lambs. So how the hell? A lamb like that out of market could end up looking like that is beyond me. Now my belief is it's the abattoir, it's the end bit where they're struggling. They're trying to kill too many numbers too fast and we're losing the quality. So, let me show you a Slacky's lamb steak. Supermarket, to a supermarket lamb steak. Oh, right, let's go. Twenty-three kilos dead weight, skinned by one of our uh, in-house butchers, my brother. Very simple, ladies and gentlemen. We've done it before. It's the same as the rump in the beef. There's always a divot in the legs, and this is where we take his legs off. Find the divot. Not divot. Not divot. Divot. Need me sewer. Need me sewer. So, legs of lamb. A pair of legs of lamb. Through a bone, we don't need a saw for this. All we need is a sharp knife. We'll go straight through there, look. Open the legs up. Valentine's lads, don't forget, Valentine's. Saw through there. Look at that. Suffolk use textile tubs. Produce lambs that an Englishman should be proud of. A pair of legs of lamb that an Englishman's proud of. Like a cave out, digging into them. So, to end up with a steak like this, End up like with, <laughs> like I said, butchers. So, there is one leg steak. I'll just stick it back together like they wanted it to. This is the difference, ladies and gentlemen, between butchers and butchers. Butchers and butchers. You won't get nothing like that in Slacky Shop, I can assure you. But anyway, so where does, it, where does it, this leg steak supposed to come from? Out in the middle of the leg. So we'll take this H bone out. We could do it without boning it out, but I know people like to see me using my knife skills. And I just dig around like this. Keeping as close to the bone as we can, but not too close that we lose his fingers.
So H bolt out of the leg of lamb, removed. And we're just trimming bits of fat off. Now, I believe that probably looking at that, that is the end of the leg, this one, one stake. One steak comes off the end of the leg. Now when I'm cutting steaks for the butcher shop, what I generally do is I take the chump off. So leg of lamb, chump of leg, chump leg. Now if you come to shop and say, can I have a nice chump, chump steak? This is where I take it from. And I believe that that is that. I believe this flap here that's falling off is actually this flap here. We'll cut another one. Lamb chump steaks. Now lamb leg steaks are bigger, the meatier, they come out of the middle of the leg, they come out of the fillet of the legs. Lamb chump steaks, which I believe this is from here, comes off the end of the leg. Very nice. But again, it's like using a blunt knife. If you use the, the bad ingredients to start with, don't matter what you do to it, fry it, cook it, boil it, do what you like with it, it's still gonna be bad when it's finished. Start with a good product. Start with local British lamb, because that's what it's all about. And like I said to you, this is gonna be the last, le this the last lamb you see from me, because lamb is starting now two or three weeks, so I'll probably do a few beef and pigs before we get back onto the lamb. It's gonna be baby lambs. We're gonna be arm deep in lamb. You're gonna be sick of lamb by the end of it, I can assure you. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jobs of fish.